News on the Go. Storm Team Alert this morning. Several schools delayed. Take a look at the bottom of your screen. Heavy rain last night and the wind overnight causing problems all around central New York. Yeah, thousands of people still without power in Onondaga County. There are several roads closed because of the flooding and the down power lines and the trees there. So drivers should use caution. There are also some reports of large branches or even trees down in the road. One tree even hit a house on Onondaga Hill in Syracuse overnight. The, C C the Cayuga County Sheriff put out a traveler's advisory because of the heavy rain and now the wind. This is largely in the Moravia and Locke areas, southern Cayuga County, where some streets were closed or impassable. So they say avoid those low-lying areas, travel with caution through any standing water. Better not go through the standing water if you can avoid that. Also, check in with family, friends, and the elderly and make sure everybody's got proper shelter. Well, New York State's highest court says it will review the murder case surrounding former North Syracuse school district teacher James Ball. Now, Ball is accused of shooting and killing his brother-in-law on July, July 4th, 2017, when they got into a fight. Ball says he shot Christopher Ross in self-defense. And if you missed it yesterday, you'll want to know Onondaga County's Industrial Development Agency took a big step forward towards that massive warehouse and distribution center project proposed for Morgan Road in Clay. They granted $66 million worth of tax breaks to the developer. Still no formal word yet on who will move into that $280 million warehouse, though it's